the leader of the House is notionally have said there was a constitutional coup. Now, I didn't quite actually hear him deny the fact that he said, maybe he'll get another chance again. Just tell the House, did he say this or did he not say this? And if it is a constitutional coup, what does it actually say about the sovereignty that he claims? He has claimed that this place is little more than some sort of tin pot dictatorship. And it was, of course, Mr Speaker, him that led the pro-rogue three, the three privy councillors who travelled to Balmoral to ask the Queen to act unlawfully in an attempt to draw the monarch into their half-baked scheme. If he won't apologise for the prorogation of Parliament, will he now apologise to Her Majesty the Queen for attempting to, to draw her in to the sorry state of affairs? He's simply been the, the least successful, and I'm trying to have measured language, Mr Speaker, the least successful leader of the House, probably since the post was created. He has lost every vote in the House. He has lost the government the majority. He can't even get the election the Prime Minister craves. His prorogation was unlawful. He's supposed to be the smartest cookie in the Brexit, the No Deal Brexit cult, cult coup. If that's the best they've got, Mr Speaker, God help the rest of them. Yeah. Well, Mr Speaker, I'm afraid your successor will have an uphill task. Um, moderate language lasted precisely 21 minutes before the Honourable Gentleman got up and managed to reduce the tone. Um, uh, he, he said that being here was the last thing that I want to be. Actually, Mr Speaker, I share one thing in common with you. There is nothing I like more than being in the House of Commons other than speaking in the House of Commons. I think I compete with you for how much I enjoy speaking, but I think it is a, a similar pleasure that, that, that we that we, that we get, and therefore I am delighted uh, to be here. I would point out, um, in response to the Honourable Gentleman, in relation to the recess motion, that the Court itself pointed out that there was a huge difference between a recess and a prorogation, and therefore I think it is completely in accord with and in the spirit of uh, the judgment that they came to. Measured is a relative term, and I say in the friendliest possible spirit to the Honourable Gentleman Member for Perth and North Perthshire, whose elegant constructions favour the House each week, that I think that he thinks that he was being measured. <laughs> I think that each of us probably needs to reflect on this.